Wake Forest trying to go 8-0 for the first time in history. Charlie Ham's kick. And this will be Keyshawn Williams watching it sail over his head. And here comes Sam Hartman and Wake Forest from its 25, Ronnie. You see Gary Smith, 58. Dwayne Carter, 90, patrol the middle for Duke's defense. Here's Beale Smith again. First down for Wake Forest. And Christian Beale Smith, who played at East Forsyth High School here in the Twin Cities. Beale Smith tries the right side this time. Good block on the perimeter. That was his tight end, Brandon Chapman, helping him out. At the Duke 48. Hartman going to launch, and Perry got knocked down in a collision, and here comes the flag. Blue Devil 38-yard line. Hartman fakes the throw down the seam. Ja'Cory Roberson, touchdown, Wake Forest. Well, it's an excellent job of winning early in the route for Ja'Cory Roberson. He makes the back end easy. Some kisses for the fans on homecoming up 7-0. Mateo Durant. Here's Calhoun going to the far side on the sweep. First play of the ball game and a nice play. Nick Anderson, the safety, comes barreling through to take Jalen Calhoun down back at the 22. Third and long. Holmberg cuts it loose. Caught Bobo. First down for Duke out to the 40-yard line. Great job of Gunnar Holmberg climbing in the pocket, getting out, finding Jake Bobo. Here's Mateo Durant's first carry of the day. Durant into Wake territory, down to the 42-yard line. Kalen Carson, the stop for the Deacons. Kind of lost his footing there a little bit because it looked like there was more in this run. See him kind of slip. When Another third down, that's Calhoun in motion. Here's Durant. He slips again. Mateo Durant, I'm not sure that anybody got a hand in. Roddy, the, looks like he's having a hard time keeping his balance on the field turn. Duke is 8 of 14 this year on fourth down. Holmberg pushing the pocket. Going to shoot it for Calhoun and beyond his reach. Incomplete. Jasir Taylor was the closest deacon in the neighborhood. But a third and medium here. You've got Roberson and Perry down to the bottom. Hartman. Quick shot into traffic. It is caught. Nope. Incomplete. October 9th was his last punt. <laughs> Welcome to Halloween. Look at this. All that time off and he kills it. And the fielding. Blackwell fielded it and then he got lit up. Was that Beal Smith downfield? Going to have opportunities to settle down and deliver the football. Here's Durant, another carry, hits the cutback, 20, and tripped up at the 23, 24 yard line. Leek Mustafa transfer from Richmond after 14 yards. If Duke is going to have, is going to be able to get yardage on them, but also the, the fits from the linebackers have been off at times. Holmberg will push it right, and Calhoun, a great catch. Leaping grab at the 38 ahead of Taylor. Leonard 8 of 12 throwing it this year, 81 yards. And he will try to keep it, and the Deacons rallied nicely. Chase Jones, the first guy in a black hat there. Taylor Morin to wait on the punt of Porter Wilson. Look at this thing. Two really good punts to start the game. Morin inside the five. Tries to get to the perimeter. Flag down, 15, and he'll be taken back. Shy of the 20 yard line. Now, third down and a full seven for Wake Forest. Hartman straight drop with time now flush to his left. And he will throw back. And did Chapman hang on? He did at the 24. Deliver this football against the way he's running. Just kind of flinging it out for Chapman. Great third down play coming out of the end zone. Just the fourth catch of the year for Chapman. Here's Hartman going to gun it downfield looking for Williams. Did he hold through? He did. In Duke territory and a first down at the Duke 40 for Keyshawn Williams. You see every single game is how competitive they are at receiver. When the ball's in the air, it is their football. They go up. And Wake in two down territory, Roddy. Oh, absolutely. Hartman shoots at middle of the field. A.T. Perry the catch. First down for the Deeks. It's impressive, the concentration. Like tracking a meteor. Yeah, exactly. Second and nine. Boy, Hartman, great balance. Now going to run with it. First down and more. 10-5. Touchdown for Sam Hartman. Don't talk much about the legs of Sam Hartman, but that is certainly a massive weapon for him. 
The drag route clears the linebacker out there. There's nobody there with man-to-man -man coverage on the back end, and he outruns the middle safety to the end zone. The legs of Sam Hartman have proven to be useful a number of times for Wake Forest this year. He shows the speed. I mean, they've gotten a ton of yardage on their inside zone plays early in this game. Here's Holmberg. Cuts it loose, middle of the field. That's Jarrett Garner, the catch. A stiff arm, 35-40. Garner toward midfield, forced out of bounds into the Wake bench area. Catch, scales the ladder to go and get it. After he does, is a nice job after the catch. Gunnar Holmberg, throwing hand, come back, came back slinging. Here is Durant. Look at everybody missing, but not Luke Masterson. Mateo Durant got into the fold of that, Roddy. Durant hits the cutback, first down into the wake secondary, down to the 32 before Anderson makes the stop again for Coach Clawson's club. And just missed the block on the split zone. That time, the defensive end gets too far up the field. You don't need the block. Holmberg stays on the field here. Here goes Moore, and he will be close to the first down. You got to go with the guy who gives you the best chance. Pistol set. It's Moore, the keeper. And if he broke the 22, he got the first down. Field goals aren't going to win it for you today. You're going to have to put the ball in the end zone. That's Bobo in motion. Third down for Holmberg. Going to push it to the left. Throw for Bobo. The catch. It's going to be just shy, I believe. Pistol set for the Blue Devils. Play fake by Holmberg. Rolling right. Going to throw and reaching back for it was the tight end, Dalmolin. But out of bounds and incomplete. Off their 13-yard line. And Christian Beal Smith back to work. And maybe a yard or two. Tried to get back up. Love to see that. Hartman tries to cut it loose. Donald Stewart the catch. By Morin, who's moved outside this year from his slot position before. Here's Hartman. Middle of the field, the catch made. That's Whitehart, the tight end, first down. There they are. Morin's at the top, singled up. Hartman. Now we'll keep it again. He's already had his career best run. Now he's going to do something else. 15, 10, took on a man at the 7 and plows out of bounds. It'll be first and goal at the Duke 6. Whistle. We'll check it out, come back and tell you about it in a moment. A.T. Perry lined up one-on-one -on -one to the bottom. Wow. Here's Hartman. Quick look. Now will he run again? No, he's trying to get some help. And he'll end up losing a yard back to the four. Ben Fry. A little more predictable where you're going to go with Perry. It makes it easier on the cornerback as they're lined up to go again. 11th play of the drive. Here's Hartman again. Nobody home, and he will score on the ground again. is covering the defenders the receivers downfield is two is accounting for the quarterback everybody's got their back turned Guys, he's got the answers today got a plus so far <laughs> Holmberg quick throw what a catch Pankole up the ladder and across the 30 for a Duke first down <laughs> maybe our next visit right. here is Durant big seam flag thrown is Mateo Durant and the ball got knocked loose and it's recovered by the Deacons. Travion Red comes up with the fumble after it was jarred loose by Gavin Holmes. Duke coming into this game was tied for worst in the league in terms of turnovers, lost something that had been familiar to Duke fans from years past. It's a great job down the field of raking at the football by Gavin Holmes, not giving up on the play, getting the ball out, creating the turnover for his offense. One of the week in and week out. Yep. Hartman pumps, goes, what a catch. A.T. Perry, if it stands at the 48, that is some kind of catch against Leonard Johnson. It's good every day of the week, honestly. <laughs> Little wide receiver you for A.T. Perry, huh? There right, you go. Here's Hartman looking for Donald Stewart, who makes the catch. Oh, and I'm sure it's lighting up in the text chain about wide receiver you. That one a great throw. Do we have Dime City or something like that? Because Sam Hartman is, is a... Back-to-back -back throws by Hartman. Wake in business again. Hartman looks, throws. That is Keyshawn Williams collecting at the 16 with Alexander. Here's Hartman. 
Quick throw, end zone. Perry almost flagged that down one-handed against Leonard Johnson. And a flag on Leonard Johnson. Here's Hartman moving right. Quick throw, touchdown. Keyshawn Williams in the end zone for the second time this year. Sam Hartman has thrown for two and run for two in this first half in Winston-Salem. Who plays later tonight out in Provo non-conference style. Back into fold in the Coastal. And what a play behind the line there. Look at this play. Yeah, just following the, the puller across makes the play. Here's Holmberg. And he'll be pulled down. Jasir Taylor off the blitz from the corner spot. And here's Porter Wilson driving it to the 25. And nothing doing there. Yes, sir. A week from Tuesday. Where'd the time go? We'll be hooping. Here's Hartman. Deacons with a 28 0 lead. And he put one in a tight window. And a flag is going to be thrown here against Christian Rory. I think a late hit on the quarterback. College football playoff top 25. Massive question. Where will Wake Forest be? Mm. I think they got a shot to be top 10, to be honest with you. Hartman looping downfield. It's caught. Jamal Banks inside the 10. And the Wake Forest receivers here. Coach, let me get one. Let me get a one on one down the field. He's up against Leonard Johnson. Stems him to the out. And they'll hand the ball. Turner cannot get to the perimeter. Shaka Hayward. Outstanding play in space with Ben Fry also helping for the Blue Devils. Both the run-in pass game. Here's Hartman. Wanted to load. Now Bales and back shoulder throw. Banks a sliding catch at the three. What in the world, Roddy? How did he get that off? Weeks ago in Chapel Hill, take me through this. I'm serious. Like, he's rolling to his left. There's no space there between two defenders and delivers a pretty accurate ball. Third and short. Can still get a first down without a touchdown. Hartman going right, being chased and dropped in the end zone. That was Turner who couldn't hang on. Zach Murphy holds. And the kick is no good. It's been great. Yep. Deacon fans will hang that one on Old West. Yep. Here's Holmberg. He'll be sacked back at the 16. I mean, they're, they're going to have a little under a minute left. They're third and 13. I think I would. Here's Holmberg up in the pocket, thinking about running with it. And Masterson will pull him down. And Dave Clawson calls the timeout, Roddy, with under a minute to go. One step, and Wilson hangs it high. And Morin will make a running catch of it at the 47. You, know, you would think the world ended, but A.T. Perry stepped in and had as good a year, if not better, than we expected. Hartman on third down, shoots it, and off the hands of Roberson, defended by Lewis. So the snap. Mora puts it in play. And Blackwell going to let it hit, and it will get to the end zone. Here's second down. Durant trying to sweep to the edge, and Wake rallies to the football. Miles Fox and Kaitlin Carson combined. Taylor, I remember that being specific pieces of our conversation. Not with a road win on a three-game losing streak. There was an intentionality heading into this week. You're just not seeing it yet. And it's going to be three and out, Roddy, for Coach Cutcliffe's squad. Quarterback's trying to escape. He trips over the feet of an offensive lineman. Wobbly punt headed toward Morin. Whoa, what a collision at the 45. Likely to be a top 10 team, very close, if not a top 10 team when the first rankings come out. Hartman in trouble, and the Blue Devils get to it. R.J. Open, who did not play in the first half, on the first snap of the second half. We were told number 94 there on the right side of your screen was not going to play in the first half, but he's long and he's got some pass rush ability. Does a nice job there of getting to Sam Hartman. Wake Forest is looking to take a shot early on. These Duke receivers, he's used his strength to create some separation on some of those routes. Here's a third down for Hartman and Duke bringing five. Hartman gonna cut it loose for Perry over the shoulder and caught inside the 20. First and 10 for Wake Forest. This time, he doesn't use the strength. He uses the quickness off the line of scrimmage, the technique, holding his line and then falling away. A nice catch 
for A.T. Perry, who uh, we were told, you know, kind of favors himself like one of those uh, gas stations. Well, and guess what? Christian Beal Smith scores standing in the end zone on the first play after it. Look at the offensive line. Everybody latching on. A nice seal on the outside by Devontae Gordon on R.J. Oban. The preseason inputs are still baked in there. Stuff like recruiting rankings and returning production. As you get a first down from Gunnar Holmberg. You know, Vegas. Yeah. I want to come to you about the committee here in a minute. Second down, long, Holmberg shoots it. That's Harding to catch. Daryl Harding was a guy who was sidelined, and the ball popped out. The Deacon scramble for it. Does Wake have it, or did Duke recover? It looked like Van Lynn, the pit transfer, might have fallen on it, and I believe he did. He does a nice job of securing it, and then just takes one hit, two hits, three hits. Wow. Out of the Deacon secondary. Holmberg shoots it middle of the field. Dal Molin, the tight end, was the intended receiver. Boy, Wilson hammers another one. Back to the 11. Boy, Morin guts there, Roddy. He makes the catch and then tried to advance it and gets nothing from a 55-yard punt by Porter Wilson. Here's Turner in the ball game, and look at this same play. Turner, a shoulder fake, and into Duke territory. Wow. Nate Thompson saves the touchdown. You just go to the same split zone, and it's out the front door again. Almost the exact same place. Seal the backside, doesn't need to, stays front side. He's able to cut it up, get a good game. Hartman rips it. That ball's caught. Jamal Banks another one. Down to the Blue Devil 26-yard line. Here's Hartman, and a sack, and that time, Mausi fights his way through for the second time they've gotten to Hartman here in the third quarter. A dozen to go for the first. That's Keyshawn Williams in motion. Hartman guns it, Williams the catch, and he will have the first down at the 15. Lummy Young the tackle, and he is slow to his feet. Third and two. Hartman against pressure and overthrows Keyshawn Williams with Stenson covering for the Blue Devils. Skiba's try, perfect. 38 nothing Wake Forest, five minutes to go in the third in Winston. It's not a mental issue. It's not a confidence issue. It's been physical. They went back to fundamentals this week, footwork, and uh, hoping that changes the game. What he's looking at right now, junction points. It's a physical. I mean, that's a that's a mental thing. That's an attitude. Here's the punt for Morin, and he'll fair catch that one right around the 20 yard line. And he had to go to South Bend to do it. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to NC State's women and to Notre Dame's men on capturing those championships. There's a catch, and Roberson back in the game. Six foot one with excellent ball skills. Goes up in the... Looking for those matchups, find him. You got A.T. Perry and Jaquari Roberson at the bottom, Taylor Marin to the top. There's a Hartman lob, and this is A.T. Perry at the 20 and pulled out of bounds by Johnson. Easy for A.T. Perry, wins at the line of scrimmage, get that hand off me. A little shot to the shoulder of Leonard Johnson. We're first and 10 at the Blue Devil 19 for slinging Sam Hartman. <laughs> Here is Hartman rolling, throwing, and caught. Moran inside the 10 to the 5, and that is a Wake Forest touchdown. We are eight seconds old in quarter four in Winston-Salem and number 13 in high gear. Lyle Hempel going to work. He's even got to get back guy with the clutch on the jacket. <laughs> Here's Leonard across the middle offline. He was looking for Eli Pancole. Sean McGinn at left guard. Michael Jurgens at center. Lloyd Nagasum, Naya at right guard. Devontae Gordon. Those guys were excellent today. There's a throw and a catch. That's Cameron Height. And the ball popped loose. And it is Duke's ball on the turnover. Blue Devils recover it. 
And the recovery was made by Tony Davis in the secondary. And then when he worked his way upfield, oh, it got punched out by sure. Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith. Yeah, that's a, I mean, you got to secure the football there, big fella. He was filming and watching when, yeah. when the phone got hit. Yeah, the ball. Good timing. Good timing. That made the IG, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Up on the ground. Great. Live action. Here's Leonard after the holding call, fighting to the 22. You know, everyone's friendly down here. That's good. <laughs> Leonard shoots it beyond the reach of the intended receiver, and that was Hagens to get the Blue Devils on the board. The kick is no good. Pulled it left. The way things have gone on the perimeter with them throwing the ball down the field, being able to create explosive plays, this Wake offense is humming, and it's playing with incredible confidence. And they've left points on the field today. They missed a field goal. They dropped the touchdown pass. That is a credit to the vision and the discipline of Dave Clawson and this coaching staff. There's going to be an incomplete pass. And the support staff have done an excellent job of infusing financial support in this program. They're going to wow. have spent over $100 million on athletics facilities when their latest uh, latest project is complete. Well, you're right about that. Uh, we will touch on it when we come back. A huge announcement yesterday. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. Mentor both the Manning brothers, Daniel Jones, obviously. Yep, Riley Leonard getting some reps here as we get to the... 47-yard line on the run and... Yeah, and and look David Cutcliffe's programs have always done things the right way and, and it's not going their way right now and You know it hasn't really for a couple of years For them to have success because you know, he's one of our he's one of our our favorites. There's a slant route Calhoun loose working to the backside Jalen Calhoun down at the one-yard line I mean you got to get points Get off the schneid. You're wondering, why is it five getting the ball more? Riley Leonard, touchdown for Duke. With 7.17 to go. And his first collegiate score. Was Riley Leonard on the ground? We're not going to be able to say this enough. Is uh, a non-conference game. Why? Why, is it a non why are we having to do that non-conference? Well, because... we got to get that fixed. A couple of years ago, before all this started to evolve... Carolina and Wake shouldn't be having to schedule non-conference games to play each other more than once in a blue moon. Amani Marshall around the edge, first down, and into the bench. Young guys get out there and play, and Marshall did show the speed getting around the corner. These are guys that are all ACC caliber players who, I mean, how many other teams in the league wanted these guys? Yeah. Look at the moves inside Marshall providing. That's got lined as well. We we'll see Leo Kelly in at quarterback now for Wake Forest. Taylor, the the conversation with Dave Clawson on that topic alone was as good as any part of our visit yesterday, I thought. And a handshake with David Cutcliffe. And the Deacons are 45-7 to winners here tonight at Truist Field.